Ja, jij gaat um, jij gaan dan. Right, and there we are. Good morning, Namibia and the rest of the world. It's a bit lonely out here on InfoStream Namibia this morning. Um, some individuals that usually uh, spend their time here just for some other reason find it just so important not to rock up for work. Um, it's called a accent without leave. Uh, so I greet you here all by myself. Ja. Kaufi on Infostream Namibia, nice to have you with us. Lekker om jullie hier zo te hee. Verschrikkelijke affaire voor oor, oor, hier kom Verschrikkelijke affaire voor ogen. Hij heeft opgedaag. Net om, net om, he arrived. Al die moeite om, om een koffie te gaan krijgen. Morgen jullie. <laughs> Morgen Kaufi. Hoe komen ze laat? Um, weet je wat ik nou voor ogen, um, met het verkeerde boot? Het ik al wat, nee, oor. nee, maar mijn voeten was recht voor ogen. Verschrikkelijk vroeg. Aha. Maar wat ik niet verstaan is, dat was wijter. Ons wijters was vroeg hier zo te verdwijnen. Right. Um, maar ik denk dat ook een personeelvergadering, maar ik heb het gaan zoeken voor ons. Oké. Okay. Zo so, baie uh, dankie dat jij namens ons in die wereld. <laughs> Infostream voor ogen begin het. Nee, ek, ek het nog een, ek het nog een koffie nodig gehad julle, skies toch. Ek vraag om verskoon. Dat is okay. jy nou, wat ek nou net een koffie bestel. En net een? Maar als ik kom sien, zal ik voor hem zijn en voor snoppen. Ik wil eerst in de eerste plek weten hoe gaan het volgen met je. Allemaal van je. Yes, with all of you, nice to be with us on the show. It's, yeah. it's a nice, cool uh, uh, morning in yeah. Bintuk, the second one in a row. And they, I saw on Facebook there were some photos of um, some people coming in from the Komas Hochland. Yeah. Those who don't know the Komas Hochland. Um, it's the western part of Vintuk, if you like. It's a mountainous area. And there are people that commute on a daily basis from that area into the city. They took some pictures, and um, the entire Vintuk was covered in a kind of very low lying cloud, yeah. misty so mis kind of This is the summer, it was mooi geweest. That was by the But I was in the market, and I was so big puzzled that year. So, was the real rain for was. Dit was bewolkt geweest tot en met XC half acht, acht uur. Um, right. Kaf je daar een redelijke donker wolk hier over de hele wereld gaan? Yes. Heeft het gereen in Pioneers Park Olympia in daar gedeeld? There were a couple of drops because we were sitting outside last night yeah. and, um, and we had the umbrella up. Okay. Because okay. Um, the little bit of a drizzle that was there would have so they need ons makkelijk gemaakt dat ons niet die sambre lopen. Okay, so dat was bykie bykie van 'n reënrigheid geweest. Dan ehm nog 'n ding wat ek jy wil vra as. Jy het veroogend ehm en ek ek dink dit is 'n goeie ding wat ons in die oggend veral vir ons besoekers ehm wat kyer op Facebook saam met ons Infostream nommer weer veral van die ouers ehm van ander lande ehm nie net Suid-Afrika nie maar ander lande Dat is ook veel een beetje meer vertel van wat die bij ons aangaan. Yes. En sommer net wat gebeur, want ek dink, dit is ook om jylle saam keir, omdat jylle neskierig is en graag wil weet wat die aangaan. Jy het ook, interessantheidshalwe, foto's gepost vir ochend op sociale media, wel op ons infostream groep. Mm -hmm. uh, ons kan het ook uh, later sit op, op Facebook. Ja. Van een brand, was het een voertuig wat gebrand? Dit was, uh, it was an accident between Omaroru en Kalkveld. I don't have the details of it. Okay. It looks like an accident took place there. It looks as if it could be a lorry of some sort, yeah. but it then ultimately ended up in in in. Uh, it started like burning. Now, like now, by a great brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a by. Um, good, you know, we see interesting news. I will not feel to say that 
Ik het uh, bij die rally op dinsdag, uh, ach, de zaterdag, het ik um, die Royal Enfield mannen genooi om vandaag hier te wees. En yes. ek het dinsdag gister, het ek weer vir boodschap gestuur. So, so it's not a lack of trying. Um, I think it's rather a lack of interest from businesses at this moment in time, for whatever the reasons are. Month end. Month end, en so meer. Uh, 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 net een omrik, een koffie of twee koffie? Twee koffies. Is het. Twee, baie dank. Hier kom, hier kom ons man nou. Uh, jammer dat ek jou gaan steer het, gaan roep het. Ja, ja, <laughs> Sal ek reus hier vir ons nog, ons het nog suiker en melk. Baie ja, dank, goeie, goeie, goeie daas het. Ons eie persoonlijke man. Uh, Sien, hy is uh, die man wat, wat vir ons zorg in die ogen. Goed, so ons het lekker nooi om vandag te kom gesels en ek het uh, ook die boodskap hier gesteer en sê, bring jylle motorfietse. Yes. Want dit is nou een interessante ontwikkeling in Namibia. Um, Kalfie, dit is, dit is bekostigbare motorfietse. Okay. Nou die Royal Enfield is baie, baie bekend. Hulle kom al uit die Tweede Wereldoorlog uit en naam gemaakt um, in die oorlog, uh, gedien in die oorlogsjare. Ja. En wat, hulle is natuurlijk van Indië. En wat toe gebeur het? Did the Germans use them? Um, weet jy, We soos had met Jeeps, BMW's. soos met Jeeps, <laughs> Jy, mens sal nooit weet, ek, dit sal interessant wees, en, en nice dat jy dit genoem het, wonder wie het hulle allemaal ge, gebruik. Ek sal jy waarschijnlijk die geallieerde macht wees, ek denk jy is vraag. Ja, ja. Jy weet, want um, daar was soveel motorfietsmaatskapie betrokken, maar hulle is massa vervaring. Nou, vandagse tye, maak hulle nog van die Royal Enfields, en het lyk nog soos daar die motorfietsen van na jare. Ek sê. Hy daai nog daar authentieke uh, uh, look, alhoewel hy net baie meer modern is in termen van sy starter unit, um, jy weet, hy het uh, nieuwe fuel injection, hy het ook nie meer die ou kabruiters en so meer nie. Maar in elk geval, ons sal hulle probeer nie aan te kry, want hulle het ook een groot toermaatskapie begin in Namibie, so ons sal weer met hulle praat, hulle het een klommotorfietse aangekoop, hulle is in die industriele gebied, ek het van hulle gaan kyk, nie iemand my baie, baie excited gemaakt het, is hulle off-road bike. Ja, hey, dit is yes. Ra- ja, ja, ek weet nie wie hulle gesien het. Yes, I've seen those. Wat hulle gesien so achter waar jy gesit het. Ja, ja, they are fantastic. Man, en hulle is bekostigbaar, en dit is wat ek eindelijk vir julle wil gesê het, is daar is een nieuwe era van enthousiaste, wat toch bekostigbaar wil, wil rui. Um, en, en het geniet, en hierdie goed is, kan nie dood, man, hulle is absoluut kan nie dood motorfietsen. So, uh, dit is, uh, ek noem het maar net, ons sal hulle aan die, aan die, aan die handen kry, moet nie waar het nie. Is net, um, ek denk hulle het bykie verslaap vandag, vooral ons koning. <laughs> Goed, uh, wie sê morgen vir ons? Well, we've got a whole bunch of people, I'm just busy trying to find Namibia motorcycles, and here I have them, okay. you can go and check them out. These are the motorcycles that um, Dirk was speaking ja, about. Ja. So, uh, go and suss this out, the link is on its way. Ons het een paar bezoekers vir oogend, Wessel hmm. Moster. Moore. Hy sê, morgen van die pad af. So, Wessel, as jy op die pad is, hou jou stierwiel vast. Ja. En, uh, dit is lekker om te sien iemand join vir Infostream Namibie terwijl hy in sy kar sit. Dit is baie nice. Dit is baie, cool. baie nice. Hy vraag althans, ja. hoe laat is ons tien uur? <laughs> Rather Wessel, late than never. Wessel, ek het vir oogend, ek sê moes, ek het vir oogend, het ek eers, jy kom buis gaan oopmaak. Jy weet, ek moes dit gaan doen, he. Yes. So ek vraag vir skoning, maar, maar meneer Kaafman het die, het was die show opgemaak. So is gewillig so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Yes. Maar dankie, wie is nog Ansi morgen? Ansi Burger is daar, so, um, sy is ons elke ochtend op, dankie, Ansi, dat jy ons elke ja. uh, 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 ochtend hier so join. Sy sê, goeiemorgen, nieuwe maand, nieuwe dinge. Jy het hem al recht, ons het januari oorleef, maar hoe vat ons die jaar weer by die hoorings? Nee, die bil by die hoorings. Bil by die hoorings, verseker. Ja, verseker. Gerry Souden is ook op, hy sê, morgen, morgen, nice to see you. En dan natuurlijk, Raiwi is ook nog op. Uh, kan ek... Peetspies. Ek moore, ek moore, 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 moore. En uh, ek wonder, is ons traske man in die oppie? Uh, op, op die oomlik, wacht, laat ek een bykie, daar is hy, Joop is ook is oppie, so. Hy sê, jy drink seker een bier vanavond, Dirk. Um, jong, Joop, ek, ek weet nie, as ek Why would he be drinking a beer tonight? Kijk, 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 is ek by die huis kom. Uh, kijk, Bona, dan moest hy nieuwe, sy moest nou een nieuwe challenge hmm. begin. Oké. Okay. Dit kan dit wees. Aha. Jy weet, um, maar Joep is bezig om my arm te draai. Joep, ek weet nie, ek weet nie. Ek het soveel plannen, ek het soveel plannen, hier soos die manne, 
Um, kom, maak het draai zo. Um, kom, sit hier bij ons. <laughs> ja, skies, kom, sit hier bij ons. Um, ons het, ons bezoeker van, van uh, uh, is hier zo, het jy een motorfiets gebracht? Is het? Ons sal nou, ons sy net geuit, ons sy net geuit. Sit, ek sal nou, ons sal nou plan maak daar, hoor. Oké, okay, goed zo. Zit niet al voor een ogenblikje. Oké. Okay. Goed, ons het, uh, het lijkt mij ons het die mannen hier zo van uh, Brawl Enfield, so ons gaan kijken of ons hulle hier een shot kan krijgen. Daar kan yes. ons die shots een beetje verander. En dan uh, kan ons daar ook veel wijs op dit lijkt. Daar wat ons doen is, ons uh, kaffie is maak hier niet klaar. Right. En dan, dan laat, kan hulle daar parkeer, dan skuif ons die, die camera net daar kant toe. Ons kan dit zo so iets, ons kan ons nou so iets doen. Een lekker breek van. Goed, ehm. Um, maar baie dankie vir die van julle wat saamgesels die ons het opgedaag hier van Royal Enfield. Ons gaan daar ook nou gaan gauw, ons een bykie van een langer breekvat en dan gaan ons net die camera draai en dan kan ons kyk hoe lyk het, dan kan ons saamgesels oor hulle initiatieve en die plan en so meer. Uh, ons vat gauw gauw breekie, dan is ons terug vir julle. Lekker, lekker. Mooi, ja, back. So, so, so dan, blau, ek het gesê, is een blauw woensdag, maar dit is toen nog nie. Yes. Jy weet, yes. nee? Ons gaan, ons gaan weer in die motor. But it's okay, okay. Uh, if things go, uh, uh, if things go a little bit dier mekaar, yeah. then, then that's okay too. Nothing has to be perfect. Ek, ek stem jy altemaal saam. Ons yeah. gaan, ons het die geleentheid, ons gaan vir jylle nou naar die motorfietse wees. En dan kon ons sommer lekker sien hoe dit lyk. Like. Yes. Um, ek gaan vir die mannen verhaal om dit hier parkeer. Motoring Wednesdays, on the first stream, nou maar weer. Goed. En dan, uh, ons adverteerders, baie baie dankie, die smalls kom in. Ek is so opgewonde. Ja. Baie dankie, sien. Baie baie dankie, hier is ons uh, koffie, hier op die achtergrond. Uh, so die, die smalls kom in en ek is so blij daar oor. Baie duisend dankie. Jy het nou, maak nou ons ochtend met die koffie. So, I think, jylle iets, as jylle iets wil bestel, bestel vir hom, hoor. So, what I need to maybe say is that today is the 1st of February. Ja. It is that comet, thy comet. Vertel vir ons, want jy, jy volg het toch al redelijk. Ja, 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 that comet is basically uh, going to be visible tonight. Hopefully, there will not be too much cloud cover. Okay. So for those of you who want to actually go and suss out where and what part of the sky this comet 2022 with E3 or something, hey, three years, so see Nam Kaufi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so, okay, okay, okay. so what I did is I did put the link uh, onto the comment section. So you just have to go to that YouTube video and you'll be able to see exactly yeah. where that comet is and where to find it. Okay. Goed, dit sal nogal interessant wees. Um, ons het natuurlijk morgen een groot dag, <laughs> boom, wat dit, dit donderdag is. Ja. Ek het iets interessants vir ons gereel. Jy het? Ja. Um, boom, maar die feit dat ons natuurlijk um, geluk wensing sal in die orde van die dag wees. Not necessary. Okay. Maar, maar ek, ek noem het maar net, jylle moet so lang in tussentijd met jylle maar jylle happy birthday kaartjes uitkry. Jylle boodskapjes recht kry morgen in die studio dat net die nie. <laughs> Um, ja, dit, ja, sit hulle so daar, so, dit is so, dan kan ons, en jy kan die andere een so na by hom sit, of achter hom sit. Um, so, morgenochtend, wie wat gaan ons morgenochtend doen? Iets heel te mooi anders dan wat ons nog nie gedoen het. Right. Op Infostream. Right. Ons gaan iemand hier kry om te kom gesels oor tarot card reading. Tarot card. Tarot card reading. What is tarot card well, reading? Well, dit is precies. As jy nie weet wat dit is nie, hmm? baie, baie jare gedeer. Moet jy nou al die kat uit die... Nee, 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 maar al wat ek gaan sê is, baie jare gelede, was in die korante, was mense was absoluut verslaafd daar oor, ek was bevoorig om die aanbieder te kon wees van een program, right. wat gegaan het oor sterre, Aha. jou sterre voorspel. Um, nou, al wat ek gaan sê is, ons gaan morgen praat oor tarot card reading, mm -hmm. ons gaan een meisje kree wat bykie meer daar oor vertel, wat absoluut fascinerend is, en ek dink, baie mense onderskat het, maar it's worth investigating. Isn't this so just hocus pocus? 
Koffie, ons gaan morgen uit. Ons gaan morgen uit. Dit is al wat ek vir jou kan sê. Kost gaan nou gauw advertentie van ons uh, baie dankie hier. Ons gaan gauw uh, Yamaha adverteer vir ons baie baie dankie. En uh, die... Um, hier staan die monsters. Ja. In my leien. Uh, Joep sê, ons kan ons maar live bly terwyl ons, ons dinge skuif. Want dit is wat die, wat die show anders maak. Joep, dit is wat precies wat we, ons gaan doen. We Dank are not Joep. so perfect. Dit is precies wat ons gaan doen. Ons gaan uh, die motorfietsen vir julle wees. Ja. Ek gaan die camera draai terwyl Kavi um, daag om self vir my plekkie kry in die, in die twee manne. All I say is wow. Ja. You'll is, see, julle gaan nou nou sien. Julle gaan nou nou sien. En dit gaan baie mooi lyk. Die manne gaan, ons gaan met die daag gesels. Goed, kost, kijk gewoon naar die advertentie. Welcome to Yamaha Windhoek, where we stock a wide range of lubricants and oils. We also stock an extensive range of accessories and riding gear. We sell a wide range of motorcycles, new and used. Yamaha Windhoek's got tires in stock for all makes and models. Yamaha's got a fully equipped workshop and competent mechanics to make sure your bike is always running right. Yamaha Windhoek, your one-stop biking shop. Daar is hy. And we are back. Daar is ons terug. Daar is ons terug. <laughs> um, lekker vars op hier. I'm excited vers. about today's show, by ja, the way. Well is, done. Ek, nee, nee, ja, well done. Yeah. I would say, daar, daar moet ek vir Dirk a plane here. You know, he's our program director. Nee, he always makes sure that we've got decent content, informative, educative, lekker. and uh, entertaining content. Ja, maar jy gesels so lekker. Ja, maar, jy weet, ek is, dit, dit is... Our viewers can't see it at the moment, but we can. Ja, jylle kan. You, you guys are absolutely gonna love ja. this. En jylle kan gerust, as jylle away. wil, kan jylle gauw ruim kom kyk. <laughs> um, maar in elk geval, dit is, dit is baie interessant. Ek dink, ek dink hierdie, hierdie gaan die motorfietsmark in Namibia gaan, gaan een uh, ander gezicht hier. This is Kom, going to change dit, it. Ek vertel vir jy. It's a game changer. Ja, verzeker. Ons gaan, uh, ons moet voetnoos neem vandaag. Uh, Kofi, uh, wat is in die courante vandaag? Right, so I would like to start with a bad news first. Ja. Yeah. Okay, so thank you to the Namibian this morning. On the front pages of the Namibian, today of course the first of February. Mm. Remember that whole condom story? I'm sorry, I'm ha- I'm, ek weet hier, die hond is nou al stuk in geslaan. Maar ek wil hier met dit sê, want ek het een story, <sighs> daarby wil anlas, dit is nie oor condoms, die maar daai in my stikkie gaan so by mekaar pas, soos een sterd in een poep, of een sterd yes. in een hond. Yes. Daai, daai gedeelte, daai connectie. Right. So remember that, that whole deal with regards to that tender for all the condoms and the the plastic gloves and all no. that kind of stuff. Amnix trading that got that super duper tender for 600 and something million. Yep. You know, was, these people are going to manufacture condoms for all the Namibians at 148 Namibia dollars per condom. So the Namibian newspaper is reporting that a manager at businessman Shapwa Kanyama's company yep. Yep. admitted that they import condoms and surgical gloves from Malaysia. This, and uh, then they package them the, here. Iso. The iso. Wow. So, so wow. Say, yes. I wonder what's going to be packaged. Maybe in Namibia, package in Namibia. Package? What, what, what is it going to say? Or yeah. only tendered in Namibia? Yeah. Or something yeah. like yeah. that? So, yeah. So the Central Procurement Board of Namibia awarded the tenders to Kanyama's company, which employs three people. 
and Ian is a manager. Based on the fact that he is a local manufacturer, yeah. right? A decision which is now being challenged by his competitors. Well, da het ons dit nou. Ek gaan, I tell you something, this just smells of fraud or corruption at the highest level. Ja, wel, omdat het meer as 200 miljoen dierder is as die tweede naasting. Mm. Dit dan maak ek wel lekker nou, gauw goeie. Right, but, okay, jy nie, my my nie, nie, natuurlijk, natuurlijk kan jy. Whilst ja. I'm busy with this, the story on the front page of the Namibian, just below it, here we go, listen to this. The police are probing 3.4 million Namibia dollars missing from three evangelic Lutheran churches in Namibia. Officials, officials suspect of defrauding the church with 3.4 million. Com Commissioner Ismail Basson says the police in the region are investigating theft, fraud and corruption. So now we've got condoms. <laughs> we got issues. We've, we are now stealing no. 3.4 million Namibia dollars from our churches. How's oh. that? But okay, can, can I give you not on that thing? Is it not very interesting? Yes. A Friday vraag a kerk. Yes. For 3 million. Yeah, but uh, no, look. I mean, the, I, I know that there are a couple of other churches who've got plenty more. Uh, okay. But yeah. the, the okay. problem is we are now stealing. From the Lord, and then right next to it over here, do find this story as well. It says mothers and babies are sleeping on the floor at Katatura Hospital. Donkey, maar ons kan die for 400 miljoen vir kondome en handskoene. Exactly. Maar die Katatura Hospital is in a state. Yes. Well, state hospital is in a state. Yeah. No, he so say Shimi, Shimi say, and I can not feel the the Ministry of Finance launched the Code of Good Practice on Preferences in the Namibia Public Procurement System. Yes. Preference in awarding tenders will be given to local companies that are most responsive and cost-effective. He started out. Um, in addition, the situation where local companies are competing with international companies for a tender, preference will be given to local suppliers yes. to empower them. However, there is a limit in price. The difference in price should not be more than 10%. You'll be wa wasting taxpayers' money. Now, say I, ons be nou verzichtig wat ons uitgeer en wat het gaan koos. Yes. Maar hier kom ek ou, hy koop buitenlandse producten. While saying he's going to manufacture it. Hy sê dat hy gaan het manufacture. He's only got three people company in yeah. working for him. Ja. En 400 miljoen kondome en handskoene. It goes hand in hand. Glove in hand. Oké. Okay. In elk geval, um, ek sê weer, noem my wees een seksleven, lijkt van baie gezond. <laughs> want, uh, ons is so baie kondome nodig. Van elke kost los dit daar. Wat het jy nog? No, wat? this is basically that. I've got nothing else to talk about at this stage. Because okay. I'm more excited about what we're going to do now afterwards. Ons gaan, ons gaan definitief. Oor, ek praat van excitement, want hou, woensdag is altyd um, motoring Wednesday en ons het vandag lekker motorfietsie hier. InfoStream Namibia takes you on a whole new journey by car, motorcycle or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B or even C and D. Motoring on InfoStream Namibia, a whole new world, a whole new journey. Keep your motor running, head on down the highway. InfoStream Namibia Motoring, everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. Motoring Wednesday, and we are back. Jylle kan woensdag saamgesels. <laughs> Ek het net so een of twee, drie stories nog uh, vandag. Mm -hmm. Een van die goed is dat um, Kalex Headpoint sê is baie, baie bekommerd oor, oor windhoekse riool situasie. Right. Ons het nou die dag gepraat oor een dorpie daar in Zuid-Afrika waar die mense gesê het, hulle moet trek. Hulle kan nie eens laaise verkoop nie. Hulle moet trek, omdat die riool situasie van so aard is dat al die water uit die krane uit is bruin, dat stink na riool, na afval, en uh, een na die andere gesin is bezig om baie siek te raak. Ah. So, nou sê ons uh, eie kaliseet van sê, hy sê ons hoofstad het nie meer kapasiteit om riool te bestuur nie. Really? Ja. ja. Uh, die Goriehanke Gapdam wat jy vir vaarswatervoorsiening sou gebruik het, is nou een groot rioeldam. En daar die rioel stort weer in Swakko Poordam. Dit is nou een stroomstoor. Ja, dit is nou een stroomstoor. Hier is het rol, wie uh, is Hier zou dingen in die, in die drinkwater wat ons dan moet kijken. Um, in elk geval, hij zei, 
Dit moet dringend bijbelang hebben, dan moet dit nou uitkom. Yes. Hij sê, dit kan niet zo so aangaan nie. Uh, ons is bezig om baie noodzakelijke varswaterbronnen op op te mors. Ja, op te mors, um, dier die onvermoe om riool in ons hoofdstad te bestuur. Nou, jullie weten natuurlijk wat dit betekent, Kaffee. Die eerste ding is, ons sal nie meer kan water drink uit ons kraan uit. People are gonna get sick, and then they have to go to Katatura Hospital to lie on the floor. En Katatura, ja, precies dit. Maar besef jy wat, ge wat gebeur as, as, as jou hoofdstad yes. sy water besoedel is? Exactly. In alle opzichten. In alle opzichten. Dit is groot kommer, uh, terwijl aan die andere kant um, is daar... Who would have thought that uh, since independence, 30 years later, we'd be sitting with this, this stuff that we're not talking about? Ek kan dit nie geloen nie. Ek kan dit nie geloen nie. Maar elk wat dit, dit is daar, en dan in tussentijd is daar klein bykie verlichting mm. vraai, Duizend leerlingen wat um, moet, moet school gaan, maar als die tenten nie, dat is, dat is die geriewe nie. Het lijkt mij dat daar, daarom nou so 600 van hulle is wat wel onder gaan ontvang. Ik um, denk dat is daar tenten opgezet vir hulle, maar jullie kan dit gaan lees. Ek nie na hooper sê. Wat? As een condoom nou 150 Namibiese dollar kost, dan is hy ons nog half gedwing om met jou eie gul te slaap. <laughs> Dit is een mooie kind. Dit is een mooie kleur. Dit is een mooie kleur. Nee, nou, dit is nou skerp. Sy, sê, sy sê ook, sy ken corruption al lang. Ja. Want sy moes op school 5 rand betaal om haar eie kleren te draal. <laughs> Want daar je naar uit. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. ja kom nou. Da, die muntlekking. O, ons ja. het in school een muntlekking gehad. Ja, maar jy moet die dag moet jy in vol uniform kom. En dan moet jy geld meer gesit het. Ek onthoud dit baie goed. Nina, jij is scherp vandaag. Baie, baie scherp. Slim. Baie dankie ek selfs. Baie slim. Goed, um, daar is natuurlijk kommer oor die wisselvallige reens. Uh, die ouwe sê dat die landbouwproducent is, is baie moeilijk vir hom te beplan en te bepaal. An interesting thing, just want to add to that. I spoke to Wijnand Reed, one of our uh, 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 contributors here yeah. in terms of conservation. Yeah. He said that it is the first time in 26 years that Namibia has got such cool temperatures. For, for December and January, yeah. this time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So something is something's up with the weather. Yeah. I think the wisselvalligheid van die reen, jy weet, is moest nou nie asof daar a reen dagboek is nie, en, mm. en die, ons nou voorskryf van die reen, dit moet nou reen, want ek moet nou morgen plan. I think die reen was nog altyd deel van ons levens en geskietings gewees. It's the comet. Is die komet sy skil. Comet. Maar ik denk, boere moet bewust wees, en ek denk hulle is bewust van die wisselvalligheid van weer. Yes. Dus my net so bykie ver gaan, dat daar een natuurlijk gaan reen gepaard met pestes en ziektes. Dit is zo. So. Yes. Je weet, te min reen aan die ene kant, te veel reen aan die andere kant. Maar ik denk niet ons, ons hoef die boere voor te skryf nie. Ek denk, hulle weet precies wat hulle moet doen. <laughs> die drijftuig in Luderit. Oh, that, that, that sail ja, drone. Die, die, die ding wat nou daar aangekom het. Yes. Kalfi, daar is nou een groot miswolk wat oor die ding haal. Oké. Okay. Want die vraag word nou gevra aan wie behoor dit? Did it just arrive in the harbor? Dit het in die haven gearriveer, daar was nou klomp bespiegelinge daar oor gewees. Dit is nou die, die, die onbemande oppervlak voertuig. Nou, uh, hulle praat, ja, is uh, uh, USV. Maar die Namibiese Weermacht het nou daar beslag geleid. En die Namibiese Weermacht sê dat hulle volg die ding nou af. En het dit soort van bespeer en nou al vir een geruime tyd hou hulle dit op. En eeuwenskielik we... is die eienaar soek. Niemand weet wat hy doen. Hy het een nommer op. J067. Maar wat soek hy in die Namibiese water? Right. Waarvoor is hy gebruik? Wat is sy doel? Eeuwenskielik is hierdie ding gehul in een donker, donker, uh, amper sê kondoom, een donker uh, wolk. Iets is nie lekker daar nie, yes. uh, op hierdie stadium. So dit is van die suidelike kant af van Luderitz af inbeweeg, right. en uh, die, daar is blijkbaar probleem um, in die operateur al van uh, boom waar we die, die feit dat niemand weet wat het is nie, sê, um, een van die uh, toeriste, of een toerisme boot, toeriste boot, het die ding toe haven toe gesleep. Ok. Uh, maar hy het versuim om die haven oor, uh, overheid daarvan in kennis te stel. So toe is die ding nou daar gewaar en daar leid die ding nou en nou, nou is daar probleme. So, um, 
kom eens kijken wat gaan hier gebeur, ek wonder ook wie soek wat daar, um, dit is hier lekker story. Oké, okay, so I put in this registration number that you just gave me. 067. And what it refers to is a sailing vessel, Brizo Unmanned. Ja. And this might, this might be a little bit, but it was already uh, in, in West Australia at some strait. Is it? Ja. Is it? But I just cannot find... It, it departed from Dampier, Australia. Okay. okay. Um, and it's unmanned, but uh, we are unable to exactly see who the owner of this. No, interesting. Yes. He was al six months gewaar and opgemerkt um, okay. na by the skirrelkes. Aha. Da waar ook vir olie gesoek was. Right. Hy, was hy uh, skirrelkes park. But I mean, is hy al opgemerk hierdie ding? You can't have basically a water-based drone and just sail it into Namibian waters. Because look, if it's more than 200 kilometers off Namibian coastline, then it's in international waters. But at the moment, I think it's 200 kilometers or 120 kilometers. But you can't just sail an unmanned drone into Namibian waters. Okay, but Maar wat hier gebeur het, is een toeristenboot het om ingesleep. Want hy het, I didn't, I didn't die, know that. Het okay. hy, het hy rondgedobber en toe het die boot om ingesleep af en toe. Maar right. nou eis niemand om op nie. Ja, yeah, because that what you find at sea automatically belongs to you. Yeah. Oceanic so, law predicts yeah, that. Yeah. Or, or, or says that. Ja. Yeah. Hmm. Not cool. predict. Dit is gewoon ek my skoon maar wil leer sel plaat krijg. <laughs> maar in elk geval, so uh, die ding, dit is nou interessant wat hier bezig is om te gebeur, um, nog een bonding moet loop. Dan een andere ene is Mietko. Mietko is die toekomst is in die weegskaal. Right. Een besluit moet spoedig oor die maatskapie geneem word, aangezien tyk en geld volgens landbouwminister Minderak. Mm -hmm. uh, maatskapie het boere gered, sê die uitvoerende hoof, maar uh, Mietko sy bestuur um, is um, op hierdie stadium ek dink het intensieve zorg nodig en bestuur nodig terwyl daar besluit word oor wat gaan van Mietko word. Bord. So dit is nou riool wat is, ek is bekommerd oor die riool story. Ok. En vir nummer weer. En dan die well, ander een is Mietko, en dan natuurlijk en dan, die uh, een wat ons gister oor gepraat het, is die feit dat die um, windhoekse municipaliteit nog sonder een bestuurscomité is. Dat is wel een burgemeester aangestel, maar sit nog sonder een bestuurscomité. Het spies sê die selfde in termen van die riool, uh, sê tendens in Zuid-Afrika aangaan de riool, Hy sê wat sommer so in die riviere gestort word, uh, so ook in die, in die see. Ja, dit is waar, nee, dit is hmm. waar. Um, so, dit is een redelike groot gemors, maar dit is een groot bron van kommer hier vroeg in die jaar. Ja. Jy weet, as ons sit met die situaties. Uh, ons vleissituasie is al klaar een bekommernis. Um, ek wil nog bykie kyk of ons die ons in die handen kan kry van daar prachtige broers hier, hulle praat van de meat root. Um, en, en my wees bekend daarvoor, dat nou, dat hierdie riool situasie, vlees situasie en hierdie goed bedrog, uh, hierdie tendergoed wat buiten beheer is, dat dit nou nie die, die wellness van Namibie gaan in een donker wolk gaan hul nie, want ons um, visie vir 2023 is baie weier en groter is dit. Ja. Kavik, ons, um, ek gaan nog so een of twee advertenties speel, En dan kan ons uh, gauw met die mannen kom gesels hier so. Ja, let's uh, so do that. Ek gaan die eerste ene doen. Um, vinnig so een na die andere ene, terwyl Kavi daar stelling inneem. <laughs> en dan sal ek by hom aansluit. Das dan sal ek die camera bykie draai en dan kan ons uh, saam gesels. Uh, goed, kom ons kyk die eerste ene kie, dan as ek by julle uh, wat dit aan betref. Uh, let's go. Ons. Infrastream nummer weer takes you on a whole new journey by car, motorcycle, or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B, or even C and D. Motoring on Infrastream Namibia, a whole new world, a whole new journey. Keep your motor running, head on down the highway. Infrastream Namibia Motoring, everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry.
InfoStream Namibia live streaming or online publishing allows you to watch and listen to the show in real time, giving you greater access to educational, informative and educative content. There may be situations where due to technical difficulties a live stream may not be available. Whilst every effort will be made to ensure the live streaming and relevant websites are updated and working, InfoStream Namibia takes no responsibility and cannot be held liable for the unavailability of live streaming in part or in full due to technical issues beyond its control. Therefore, it should be noted that no protection is afforded to participants for comments made during its shows, which are subsequently challenged in a court of law and determined to be deliberately slanderous or for any comments made by interviewees, contributors or online participators. The views of interviewees, advertisers and or participators do not necessarily reflect the views of InfoStream Namibia. Live streams and recordings of scheduled and additional content remain the property of InfoStream Namibia and are protected by copyright. Access to live streams and recordings of the show content is provided for commercial use. Videos, images and audio must not be altered, reproduced or republished without the permission of InfoStream Namibia. Images, videos or other content provided to InfoStream Namibia is done by contributors or participators' choice and InfoStream Namibia is therefore authorized by such entity or persons for use on InfoStream Namibia. For any commercial or media inquiries, please contact InfoStream Namibia at InfoStreamNamibia at gmail.com. There we go. Here we are. There we go, there we go. Um, faces, we are yes. joined here by two gentlemen. Yes. They're quite pretty. They are. <laughs> you know, I, I thought that bikers I just are, had my hat on. Yeah, you know, bikers are all ugly. But, they, but they're actually not. I'm not a biker. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. are you saying? I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the cameras just now. Yes. Right. But welcome, welcome gentlemen. Glenn and Thank Chris. Thank Glenn Thank you. and, and uh, Glenn here. And Chris. Chris. Yeah. yeah. And and Chris Chris, you are from where are you from? I'm from the UK. From the UK. Yeah. Um on the east side of the Midlands Midlands, uh, Lincolnshire, big farming county. Okay. So I'm a farmer, son of a farmer. Hey. And uh, also a keen motorcyclist. <laughs> uh, my, my grandmother always used to say to me, you are the one, the absolutely one, the son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so you are the son, you're the son of a farmer. That's good. Where are you from? I'm yeah, yeah. from Wendouk. Wendouk? Yeah, I'm from Wendouk. I was born here and I've been here my whole life on motorbikes. Is it? Yes. Did you, uh, Glenn, did you specifically know what you want more from the other? I go for alles. <laughs> Safe <laughs> answer. Ik ga een koffie gezellig zeggen. Lady Cameron is een klein beetje jester, dus allemaal een pas. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, Chris and Glenn, what I've done in the, you guys are from Namibia Motorcycles. Oh, that's true. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. So what I've done is I've already shared the link on our comment section. You can um, go and suss it out. Um, the Facebook page and also the official. Uh, a, a, a page that I put up for all of you and whilst Dirk is busy uh, panning us in and out um, he's just getting the camera ready for all of you uh, tell us a little bit more about the Royal Enfields just in general uh, uh, can you give us a little bit of history on the motorcycle so typically what we'd like to know is where does all of this come from where is it now worldwide and in Namibia and what are the plans okay. ahead for sure. Yeah, it's a very old um, company. The brand started in 1901. Uh, they used to make rifles during the uh, First and Second World War, Lee uh -oh. and Enfield. Oh, that is and, where uh, that 303, uh, it was a 303 yes. caliber, the, yes. the Enfield. Yes, um, That's it. You, yeah. you got it in a stub muzzle, muzzle as well. I, I remember those guns. Okay. And so after the Second World War, they, they moved their uh, parts department to India. And so all the all the spare parts were being made in India while the bikes were uh, manufactured in the UK. Okay. And over, over the decades, um, it then became 100% Indian-owned company. So the factory is now uh, owned by a company called Ica Motors, mm -hmm. uh, based in New Delhi. And they've got a huge domestic market <laughs> in right. India. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I can imagine. Eh? So yeah. they're made for Indian roads. So. That makes them perfect for uh, Namibian roads. And, uh, well, well, people that roads. don't know when you refer to Indian roads, mm. um, 
just tell people a little bit about Indian roads, especially the mountain passes. Sure. Well, the new model, well, it's not so new now. The Himalayan Royal Enfield. I think I'm going to show you um, nice while you're telling um, uh, okay. coffee. I'm just going to pan the camera to show the new ones. Okay, right. great. So, yeah, the Himalayan, uh, there's a there's a, a clue in the name. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they have been trialled and tested in the Himalayan mountains in India. Right. Um, no tarmac up there. Very very hilly, very uh, steep inclines. And I say these bikes, having ridden them through Namibia uh, on many many occasions, they are like a donkey. Okay. They will never let you down. They'll keep on going. It's a 411 cc single engine. Yes. Don't forget the 11 cc. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, so yeah. Um, so they've actually now Royal Enfield as a company are the fastest growing motorcycle brand in the world. Yes. Um, domestically, as I said earlier, they've got a huge market, but they are expanding into the USA. Okay. And also in the UK. Um, they are developing um, a technology center right. Um, in, right in the middle of the UK near Leicester. Okay. At Hinkley, where the Triumphs are also uh, near the Triumph factory. Mm -hmm. So they're developing uh, new bikes. Um, rumor has it they're looking at e bikes for the uh -huh. future. Okay. As well as new, slightly more powerful Himalayan models, just to beef, beef up the horsepower a little bit. Um, to give them a little bit more grunt on the tarmac and yes. uh, some of those tougher sections. So as well as the Himalayans, um, we've actually now brought in, um, just before Christmas, a container full of 24 motorcycles. Uh, we have the 650 Interceptors, which is a beautiful bike, as, as Glenn yeah, will say. Yeah. Um, we've treated ourselves to one as our office bike. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, okay. And uh, yeah, also we have um, five of the classics, so that's a a new model which is a 350 um, based on the old classic 500 uh, which they've actually stopped production of now um, just, just going back to you refer to classics mm. the the uh, I understand the classic to, to to be a bike that looks very much like they used to in the Second World War in terms of the military oh green. so more the vintage the, type of yeah okay that's cool a cafe racer, but, yes. but not right but it's it's still classic yes uh, is, is that true it is the, the design is is i don't think they've changed the design since it the really. 1940s really there's lots of chrome except for the electric starter i suppose yes <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah the 350s i think well glenn will correct me if i'm wrong um being a top mechanic they have a carburetor. Uh, no, the fuel inject. They are mm. fuel injected. Mm. They are fuel injected and digital. Everything is like plug and play. Put your laptop on, yeah. and then you can see where the problem is. And, but it's it's really it's very nice. No, um, I, before we go, I want to come back to your to your plans for Namibia because that okay. is quite exciting. It it also entails um, uh, introduction to the tourism market, but we'll come back to that. Uh, now, eerst bij by jou, as, as bike mechanic. Hoe lang is jij nou al een motorfiets bike mechanic? Ik was nou al 30 jaar. 30 jaar? Yes. En jij ziet, je hebt aan alles gewerkt? Ik heb nou al alles gewerkt. Is het? Nou, is het, is het kom bij die, want ik was nou die dag bij jullie workshop, uh, daar hebben jullie, jullie plek is. Wat zie jij nou van die Royal Enfield? Want kijk, die Royal Enfield is nou niet in hem weer, daar was zo'n paar we, we had a couple here a couple of years ago and then and then the dealership never came to fruition and, and the guy left them a beer. But what do you think from, from the Royal Enfield? The Royal Enfield, the clink amper, the engine is like an evil panacord break, but that engine how I can not flow. But they can work. Well, is it, has it got a different sound to yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, or oh, like a unique like, sound? Yes, the engine. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like an engine is big, I hard, I look big, me by a grof. How many pieces? How many pieces? One, one cylinder. One cylinder. Yes, wow. Cylinder. Yeah, in, in, in valves? Valves is 100%. Is it? All is, is, the fish clink not big, grof, but all is not big worried over the engine, but maybe it's going to break. Yeah, so. yeah. But we have to run in. We can start one now. Yeah, yeah. But the fish, it breaks not. There's nothing. 
Maybe what I can do is pan it out in crisp compact. Of, of, yeah, of, uh, can I do it? Of, yeah, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. And then, and then, uh, can we start? Yeah. yeah Let's yeah, start okay, one. Okay. I can. What's going? What? You're blind with me. Skate with you. Yeah, skate with you. We're going to get you yourselves, and then can we have Chris? Chris, can we hear you now? Chris, you could start. Uh, hold on one second, Chris. Um, can we have the other one? No, no. Oké, okay, ons twee, ons, ons wat ons nou gaan doen is, ons gaan daai ou, um, Kavi gaan nou so toe die camera draai en dan gaan ons om nou start. Uh, maar dan moet jy met jou, uh, dan moet jy met jou um, mic so toe gaan Kavi. Um, jy moet, laat ons die klank kan hoor, so jy moet jou mic saamvat so toe. Yes. Ja. Ja, so here we go. Ons gaan, jy gaan nou staan na langs Chris, jy is om trend die selfie. <laughs> yes, dit is so much okay, fun. You can start okay. it if you like. I could have the, what? Just turn the key. Just turn the key. Here we go. Okay. Like that. Right. All the lights come on. Okay. Then you press the, the go button. Right. Over here. Yeah. Like that. Let the uh, fuel gauge show. Okay. Hopefully so we have enough petrol. Uh, <laughs> and that's the starter button. This one over here. Yeah. Just press that. Right. And there we go. Let's go. It's a little as a Indian, but it's a amper as of the Indian by a Wow. And what you see? And what you see is a ABS bricks for and after. ABS? Yes. As you break, I break. This is Brazilian. This is 7,000 kilometers on one from Cape Town to Kili. This is so long. Okay. Right. Well, there we are. Sarah on the back. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, um, Chris, whilst you're there, yeah. just talk us through the bike, the braking system. Um, you refer to the passenger seat. Um, it can, you can put luggage, uh, your, your touring bags on it. Just yes. talk us through, whilst coffee uh, is standing, sure. a, a little bit about from the headlights right through to, to the exhaustion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a 411cc motorcycle, single cylinder. Uh, as I said earlier, it, uh, it's like a donkey. It, yeah. The engine is, is very solid and uh, won't let you down. Very reliable. Um, with the fitted frames on the back, as you can see on, on the other bike, very nice metal boxes uh, for luggage. And um, what a lot of uh, motorcycle tourists like now is putting a duffel bag on the back as well, up to seven kilos on, on the back. Surprisingly comfortable seats uh, for a small bike. Um, as I said to Coffee earlier, we did a 7,000 kilometer trip from Cape Town to Kili Kilimanjaro this time last year wow. with my partner Sarah on the back. Not all the way. Luckily for her, there was a support vehicle as well. So when it rained, uh, she, oh, she could sit in the car. <laughs> but as, as, a, as a rider, for me, surprisingly comfortable seat for a long journey. Yes. Um, I did find the airline cushion handy. <laughs> oh, right. Those, <laughs> for those, a, a yes. bit of extra padding uh, at some stages. And um, yeah, the braking system on it, uh, it's very good front and rear ba brakes um, with ABS as well. Um, so it, it's not, a, it's not a, a sports bike. It, it doesn't take a lot of stopping. It's a light bike, perfect for off-road yes. in Namibia. And um, with the right tires and uh, it's a steep learning curve uh, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're new to Namibia. Um, riding these roads, but um, with a big 21 inch front wheel and uh, a bit of know how, uh, these roads are a huge adventure. And uh, this bike is perfect for this country. So, we hope to um, open up in March with our first uh, guided, fully supported tour group uh, from Finland. Wow! Yeah, and uh, they're an amazing group of riders who go so all over the world. How does that work then? You bring your own Royal Enfield bike with no, you? No, or no, no. We have, we have a fleet now of 15 
Himalayans. Okay. So we can do guided tours from a minimum of four bikes up to 12 riders. How cool is that? With pillions. Yeah. And uh, so we book several itineraries. Right. Uh, starting in Windhoek, finishing in Windhoek, um, to the south, to the Fish River Canyon, uh, to the coast, uh, to the north, to Itosha. And uh, so people can come from overseas, experience the bikes, Fantastic. experience uh, the wildlife and all the great things this country has to offer. And uh, so, so cool. our itineraries are, um, we stay at some of the most wonderful lodges in the country and um, we plan two or three hundred kilometers per day. So some days are a little bit longer than others. Some days are, uh, are quite short. For example, when people stay in Swakopman, yes, they can have two or three days exploring the coast there. Okay. And uh, something to cater for all levels of riders, really, from beginners to advanced. Okay. Depending okay. on the itinerary. So sure. For the beginner riders, we stick to more tarmac roads. Mm -hmm. For the more uh, advanced riders, we'll uh, take it a little bit more. We'll do the C28. Oh, <laughs> every day, <laughs> if we could. Okay. For those of you who don't know the C28, it's it's not that easy. It's, it's a little bit of a challenge. Yes, when when we did it uh, recently, as well as mm. the first time last year, we there is a website that uh, claims it is the uh, one of the best roads to do, and uh, okay. yeah, certainly. Uh, some challenges yeah well did you know that if you travel on your motorbike and you are on a gravel road have you ever noticed that sometimes there's this piece in the middle this yeah. the sand thingy that you need to maneuver over yes in afrikaans it's called a middle maniki i don't know if you've heard that term yet maniki a, a middle maniki no, can't say how. and that is for many a motorcyclist a little bit of a challenge to go over that so I'm Can sure be. that Chris mm. and Glenn and his team they will be able to tell you how to maneuver over the middle maniki it's a steep learning curve <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think the secret really uh, well a few things you must relax your arms and not hold on okay. for dear life because if you hit the maniki or <laughs> some deep sand the front wheel physics will dictate that it wants to take the easiest route yes so this the quick learning curve is relax lean back and try and put the as much weight as possible on the rear tire and lift the front out of the maniki or the sand and just give it a little bit of revs right slow your speed down knock it down a gear or two depending on how fast you're going into this um, but also I think forward planning is also so important um, sure. always on all roads, but especially here. Um, and you must pick a line, stick to it, and often it's where the cars have been. And, and yeah, try to avoid that, that middle patch there. Um, but yeah, planning ahead, sort of just the, the two second rule, if you like, and then further ahead, the 12 second rule, whatever um, uh, riding. <laughs> Uh, knowledge that you gained over your years but uh, for me I did um, some advanced training in the UK okay because um, I've got children <laughs> I'm too old to bounce these days so um, I put myself through some police training in the UK okay um, and several rides out with um, experts yes. just those little tips to do the shoulder check even mm. if there's no traffic it's, it is called a lifesaver sure. for a reason and just that extra planning of awareness, the 360 bubble to have while you're riding, not just in traffic, but yes. actually some of the roads where there's no traffic, you, you get a bit blasé, you, yes. don't, you don't check your mirrors, and then all of a sudden <laughs> there may be a 4x4 four four coming uh, in your blind spot. So, okay. you know, um, it's important to keep uh, focused at all times on, right. you know, when you're riding. Uh, one slip of concentration, and as, as a lot of people have found out to their peril, Ooh, things can go quite wrong quite wrong. quickly. Um, there's no stabilizers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chris, I've got a question here. Uh, why yeah. the word royal? Was it done in Her Majesty's service? That's is that where it, it was? It, a, you know what I'm talking about. Was yeah. It like it's a, yeah, I think a lot of British companies back in the day, yes. um, during the imperial days, Royal Mail. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, Royal Enfield. A lot I think of referral to the monarch, isn't it? A lot of it? patriotism there. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. For sure. <laughs> you know, making the rifles during the Second World War and all that. Um, and I think also now with the Indian brand, I think in, in the history of India yes. with the Raj and, and so they, they are quite, uh, how should I say, their society is quite hierarchical now as well. So the, the word royal gives some respect. Would, would have been a nice to have a picture of Winston Churchill on one of these, <laughs> isn't it? There is a picture of the Queen on one. You're kidding me. Yeah. Really? I believe so. We'll find it. We'll give you the link. I believe so. If it's an Enfield. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, but, uh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Okay. She did her motorcycle license uh, just before she was coronated, I think, in the early 50s. Oh, there you <laughs> have it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll dig that picture out for you. Right. <laughs> I've got it somewhere. That'll be great. Sure. We'll share it with all our viewers. <laughs> sure. Right, uh, Dirk, shall we come back to uh, the table? Let's you go can, over there. You can, you can finish, then we can... Do just go the comments, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. That will take a lot of editing. <laughs> Good. Do you want to do, 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 is there anything else to add on the bike, Gwen, that I missed out? Yeah, for the me. The crash bars. The crash bars are so funny. The crash bars is fine and so, but yeah. The brakes are fine. Brakes, everything is fine on this bike, so it's all what I can really say. <laughs> yes, yes. So there we have it, Glenn and Chris from uh, Namibia Motorcycles. Uh, please note that we've... Um, uh, uh, um, yeah, I'll fix that. No, no. We've also given you the links in terms of Namibia motorcycles where you can go and check all of this out. And my apologies for this little error. It's, it's Glenn and Chris, and I'll fix that in a, a short while. Well, um, Nina Hooper say, I get next from bikes. Maar misschien kan Chris die waterdrone onderzoek en uitvind wat die rede is voor hem. Oké, okay, she's actually referring to this lost sailing drone that went into the, into the harbor of Luderitz. Oh. And she says that she doesn't know anything about bikes, but maybe because you two guys are so clued up. <laughs> this is um, an unmanned you can vehicle. figure out why we are sitting in Namibian waters with an unmanned drone. Maybe we can have an unmanned motorcycle one day. Oh. Wouldn't that but be fun, eh? Really? But why? What's the purpose? Why? Why have an unmanned... <laughs> yeah, but, but a second. Yeah. Yes. I just got a question. Um, uh, 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 you, you may. Yeah, please join us. Um, uh, Chris, have you got... Uh, talking about touring Namibia, yeah. I think uh, these bikes are brilliant Thank for you. many reasons. First mm -hmm. of all, they're not too heavy. Yeah. Um, and for the speed that your, your dirt roads allow you, I think it's convenient and comfortable. Um, I think you have enough space for luggage, for, for a tour, whether it's a 10-day tour or, or something like that. Uh, what I would like to know is, have you got different routes planned? In other words, you can do a 3-day tour, you can do a 7-day, or you can do a 14. Have you got that plan, and where will, they, where will the routes be available? And the costing, costing, costing is always important. People want to know, thank you very much, but how much will it cost me? Good question. <laughs> Lots of questions. Where to yep. start? So, yes, we, we're, we're operating fully supported guided tours yep. um, from 15 days to 12 days to 9 days. Um, so, they're the three itineraries we've planned at the moment. We're looking to expand that in the future. Um, also, um, to go in over borders um, to Botswana, Botswana oh, right. okay. into okay. Angola. Mm. And um, I must say, my business partner here in Namibia also has a sister company already up and going since 2020 in Tanzania and Zanzibar. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So on, on that on that model, we are now uh, opening up in Namibia. So our main business is rentals and tours. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so people can okay. come. Adventure mm. riders can also come and just hire their own motorcycle and uh, plan their own itinerary, obviously mm -hmm. with our help mm. and support and if they have any problems while they're doing their mm. self-guided tour we've got a fully backed up service uh, nationwide if they have any issues um, such as oil leaks or yes. such such like we can uh, we can actually go out and I keep actually, them on the road i actually met your business partner last year okay Fantastic. because my my wife um she is still is and was um uh, in the same premises, at the same premises as uh, the guys who sold uh, 
Harley Davidsons and other bikes. Oh, but she yes, does yes. Uh, biker gear. And, and we had, I don't think you were there, but in any case, the guys um, stopped there one day and he was telling me about the initiative of the Royal Enfields for Namibia. And there you are. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and then he just said that the, he got an outfit um, outside of the borders of Namibia. Yeah, yeah, that was That's last right. year. Yes. It yeah. last year, August, September, September, October, somewhere there. That's right. Yeah, that I actually spoke to. Okay. Well, uh, welcome, well done. Looking forward to have more information. Um, and then when you guys are ready with your pricing and structure, um, you have my contact number. I sent you a WhatsApp uh, last night. Um, I'll just check the numbers, mm. and then uh, let's look at the, at yeah. uh, you know, test ride or, or go out one day with you guys, uh, even if it's an area where you yeah. show the bikes off road. Mm. Yes. You know, yes. and, yes. and, and we great. can have yeah. something well, like that. They come into that element. <laughs> Nina, Nina is saying that um, that maybe you guys must take also including your tours or Maruru which is a yes. picture town. she town, yeah. says she's yeah. now received some photos that the river came down so you know um for those of you out there who are watching this um namibia has got a lot of different seasons so if you visit namibia in the summer during the rainy times and what what is totally yeah. different than perhaps in winter you know where it's where it's a little bit more dry and that so the country the landscape changes so i think you guys are doing a, a great thing brilliant love it well done thank you so yeah i think Amaruru, yeah. Amaruru is a very picturesque yeah. town yes and uh, slowly developing as the artist town of namibia and that's on the way to the coast it's a nice stop over and then Spitzkopper, of course, um, another opportunity, yes. uh, you know, to go off the tar at Spitzkopper mm. and then mm -hmm. work your way to Hentys Bay and then uh, along the coast. That's right. Um, yeah, um, or Brandberg, in, uh, mm. another opportunity. Well, it's but actually included in uh, one of our tours okay. already, yeah, the nine-day itinerary. There we go. Goes through Amaruru and yeah. Uh, yeah, to the Skeleton Coast. Guys, uh, I thank you very, very much. Thank you so um, much. We're going to take Pleasure. a break. Uh, and then in, in the meantime, we wish you well, and you guys, um, yeah. you do, you go and do your thing, and Kofi and myself check out will. The website. Yeah, yes. yeah you, go you check. Posted. I posted them okay. already. Go cool. and check it out. Thank and the you, other Chris. thing, please Thanks, do me a favour. Take our show today and share it to your site. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you, you're allowed to do that, mm. and remember that this show today will go uh, to YouTube. Yep. After this, we are archiving this, so, so it will the show never will be lost. It. It'll be yeah. there forever. Yes. So <laughs> you're, you're very welcome to share this, and please do. Have you edit it well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all fine. Good. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back after that. Thank you very much. Infostream Namibia takes you on a whole new journey by car, motorcycle, or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B, or even C and D. Motoring on Infostream Namibia, a whole new world. A whole new journey. Keep your motor running. Head on down the highway. Infostream Namibia Motoring. Everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. I can let you back to the small cafe by us. Smalls. Yes. Why is it so lekker? If you want to go to Praat van Hentys, buy for your camp. Now, 081. Double vier, double zeven, negen, zes, acht. Die loopt als je er wel van kan. Um, ons heeft gisteren gepraat over persoonlijke um, africhting. Dat is eigenlijk bijzonder aan persoonlijke um, uh, coaching. Marleen Watsold, ons het niet een telefoon om niet meer daar als je ze belangstel. Um, en natuurlijk die einde van die maand is die bruifjes. Kom vrede, koffie is daar, die 25ste. Als je er zo wou. Uh, als je er voor de kiddies is, lekker, lekker snackies voor de kids. Is die popsicles. Hi, Sherbert, it's here. Yes. Skakel for Weinand, 081-73-6580. And then, ook by belangrijk for Schoenmark. This is from Matte to Jelle Noemet. Alles. Alles, alles, alles is belangrijk. For all the ones that Persian Matte eat in Kielims, as I can good skakel for week bereid telephone number. And then, one that we don't need to forget is. Kippy Stance Bar. Namibia's favourite social and entertainment venue is reopening its doors. As from the 3rd of February, Kippy Stance Bar will be hosting your favourite music entertainers and many specials for your enjoyment. Join us at 14 Andimba Toivuya Toivu Avenue. Kippy Stance Bar. Let the good times begin.
Quality Lawn Solutions, Lawn Care Done Right. It's improved your lawn's growth and colour. Quality Lawn Solutions, the better way to go. Only $95 for 15 square metres. To order, contact 081-713-6580. Thank you for choosing Quality Lawn Solutions. I'm the daughter of Salmon Vermaak, who is the person who started the ranger training and Namibia wildlife protection. I've always been a huge lover for nature and it started probably with my father introducing me to when I was very young. We went horseback riding in the field when I was four years old <laughs> and he's been teaching me from a very young age about the, the spoors, the tracks, the different animals, the birds, the trees. Um, as I grew older, the love for nature just grew with, with it. Obviously, when you start educating yourself what's going on in the world, you feel much more inclined to, to have a purpose and to be part of the solution instead of the problem. To educate people where you can, you're trying to leave a mark behind, in a sense, because there's a big need for it. I wish and I hope that more children could grow up like that because you, you create a love, a deep, deep love for the environment and for every little thing you see, whether it's a rhino or a little mouse running in the kitchen. We tend to focus a lot on the endangered species, the, the big elephants and the rhinos, but it's important not to forget about the little things. It's all part of building that love and the motivation. I'm very excited for Namibia Wildlife Protection and for this beautiful camp we have, Camp Rhino in Namibia and the opportunity we are providing for young people to come and learn about being a proper anti-poaching ranger, going through the whole curriculum, doing the military based training, leave a legacy behind where you can say one day I've actually made a difference. My kids can see rhinos today because I was part of the solution and not part of the problem. Dasi, Dasi, we are back. Coffee, us is terug. Yes. Baie dankie vir die ons van van Royal Enfield. Dit was nou treat gewees om die nieuwe Himalayans te sien. En natuurlijk die planne wat jylle het om Namibia to tour, I think it's wonderful for us tourism in Namibia. Fantastic. Yeah. I great, love this. Great float for the time, eh? Mm-hmm. Very, yeah. very great float. So what I think we must do is we must do that one of us a photo from us to take that is here on our Facebook site. Right, we'll and do that. And on our group site. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're looking at the weather and um, for those of you who want to suss out the um, satellite picture, you can just go to this link that I'm sharing with all of you now, and that is, of course, on Windy. Um, so we've got cloud cover coming in from the east part yeah. of, of South Africa, also Maputo, um, going over to Pretoria, Gaborone, and then lots of cloud cover uh, in terms of the Caprivi, Rundu, coming all the way uh, past Ochivarongo and um, coming down to Vintuk. So I think by this afternoon we're going to have some cloud cover. For those of you who want to go and check out the comet, please just make sure that, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. into yeah. a cloud cover area, otherwise you will be able to see nothing. Nothing. nothing, nothing okay, nothing. then in the meantime, the weather for tomorrow, uh, moderate to heavy thunderstorms will persist over the northeastern half. Okay, no, okay. I get it. No, partly I get it. cloudy and hot in the northwest and also west and southwest. Also partly cloudy and warm to hot with isolated to scattered mm-hmm. thunder showers. Tomorrow's uh, minimums and maximums uh, Vintuk 16 and 30, Wolfers Bay 15 and 24, Swagabun 15 and 22. Then Katima Mulilu 18 and 31, uh, Okakuyo 20 and 32, Omuthia also 18 and 30, and then Ochivarongo 18 and 30 with Riobot. 18 and 30. Then we look at Marintal, 22 and 35 and 30. Nogal. So it's going to get a little bit warmer in the south. Kirtman's up 20 and 33. Buitenpost 20 and 30. And then uh, Gobabes 20 and 30. And there we have our TV. Lekker. Good. Very, very thank you. We're going to take a photo on our Facebook page. Very thank you for the men from Royal Enfield. Tja, what did I say? 15. 
Yes, five team, five team, a fluid from five team. Uh, as that is what we should do. Five team role in fields. We are going to be selfs every day. Is it good? Can we next week Wednesday with Peter Hearn? Where the great GS the BMW event that plays from here in uh, Namibia. So exciting, exciting news. Uh, what is that? Betref. Morgen gaan ons praat oor tarot card reading. Tarot card reading. Tarot card reading. You don't spoil the fun and Google ja, it now. Ja, ja, moet nie, moet nie, moet nie dit doen nie. Ons gaan morgen ook gesels. En dan vrijdag is natuurlijk weer uh, kost gesels. Yes. So ek sê eerst vir jou baie duisende dank. Yes. Thank you, thank you for ja. joining us. En vlijt, vlijt, die story is uit. Uh, ons sê eerst tot ziens. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and you can also WhatsApp us. Please do us a favor and like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, so you can get an update when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for now, hope to see you next time.